Teachers of Reddit, has a student ever said anything that actually hurt your feelings? I had this delinquent in class who once insulted a new teacher who had just suffered a miscarriage. He said something along the lines of no wonder you had a miscarriage, you're so annoying, that no one can stand you for that long, let alone a baby. She left the class crying, and she never came back, she had quit. Yup this 15 year old sure knew how to rub salt to injury. I'm no teacher, but I've been the student in this sort of situation. Back in grade 2 we had this teacher, Mrs. B, was her name. She was super nice to everyone, and was probably the most easygoing teacher out there. Only a couple times through the entire year, had she gotten stern with the class. Anyway, we were playing a game, and were all sitting in a circle. It was called I wish or something. Anyway you basically had an object in your hand, and said this may be an X, but I wish it was Y. Now, being in the second grade we were really comical and always joked around with each other. And not to mention, most of the students would call each other names, because at the time, they really weren't hurtful. Anyways, Mrs. B, left the circle for a minute, to go to her desk or the back counter or something, and a girl from across the circle, said something on the lines of I wish it was a pony in which the class either laughed or rolled their eyes and jeered. Some other little boy said that he wished the girl wasn't stupid, to which she responded saying almost the exact same thing, I wish you weren't stupid. Then, 7 year old me found an excellent idea to scream out at the top of my lungs I wish you were dead. The class laughed because we all knew it was a joke and well we didn't really know better until the teacher came into the circle and yelled who said that, not knowing what I had done wrong. I raised my hand, to which she looked at me and started to tear up and sob. She said she didn't understand how anyone could say that, and then she broke down in the middle of class. I still had not a single clue what the hell was going on to be honest. But when she was done I apologized, and we were back to normal. When I was 16 I came back to the school, and she was working there still. I came up to her, and asked her if she remembered what happened. To which she responded with yes. I asked her why she broke down. Turns out she was in the same position as that little girl, only a couple years older, where the words started to hurt. She was told to kill herself and proceeded to overdose on painkillers she found in the medicine cabinet upstairs. Her father walked in and found her, nearing a drowsy, comatose-like state. She got to the hospital and had her stomach flushed and survived. I felt like the biggest piece of shit ever, mainly because I was the biggest piece of shit ever. I apologized profusely saying that 7 year old me didn't know right from wrong. She said it was okay. To this day she still works at the school I went to and I'll come see her every so often with a coffee and some donuts. I really hope she did accept my apology but it won't ever stop me from feeling like a douchebag from that day. My 7th grade social studies slash English teacher actually broke down crying in the middle of class after being repeatedly insulted by this stuck up popular girl and her cohorts. It had been going on all semester. I had no idea what her problem was because he was one of the coolest teachers most laid back teachers in the school and everyone else adored him. Once in education for careers, a class about getting a job and such, my teacher asked Todd why he didn't do his homework, and he said, because I didn't learn anything. She said that we had gone over that yesterday, and if he had questions he should have asked. He screamed, how am I supposed to learn anything about getting a job from an ugly old teacher? What's the matter with your face anyway? She had a stroke that summer. She cried. The principal came down. She never graded her homework. One of the most hurtful things I experience as a teacher isn't anything they say as much as when they are just silent, when they are unresponsive, bored, annoyed and somewhere else. It's disrespectful, but it's also insulting when I'm trying my damn desk to make the class interesting or fun. Can't force kids to do what they don't want, but it does hurt. In 8th grade I had a period where the word retard, which I still don't say, but am more tolerant, greatly offended me due to my brother having special needs. Anyways my 8th grade teacher used the word all the time and I finally asked her privately to stop. The next class she said aloud no one is allowed to say retard, because it hurts appropriate three's feelings. The bullying went on for a while after that. I taught a college lab course in neurobiology that was extremely demanding. I didn't have total control over the difficulty level. 
I was a hardest and pushed the students all quarter. My students ended up acing the final and beat all the other sections by a landslide. A few of the students were really grateful and kept in touch after the class and one or two even ended up switching their concentration to neurobiology. But the majority of the class hated my fucking guts and they did not hold back in telling me so on the anonymous evaluations. I felt sick to my stomach when I read them. I haven't taught another class since. During my speech class in high school, I became the teacher's pet by sitting about a two feet away from her desk, which is in front of the room. We would discuss politics, current events and just ask how each other's day went. We also aligned pretty well on our views, mostly liberal, such that she was excited when I had something to add to a discussion in class. When the current event of Prop 8 came about, I was still politically and religiously confused. Some of the Propy kids would snark about how the Bible forbid it. When it was my turn to speak, I spouted some nonsense about how kids would be confused when meeting ones with two same-sex parents. Nothing religious or inflaming, but it did spark some other students to stand up to me and argue that I was wrong, while others would just repeat why do you care? In the end, I went from the gregarious top student to homophobe. Before the class ended, the teacher was crying over how her daughter could not get married because of the messed up institution. TL, doctor, teacher that liked me started crying after I spouted some anti-same-sex marriage stuff. Maybe it's not what we said, particularly, and more of just the thought of her daughter. Once while I was subbing for a pet class at a small elementary school for two days, on the second day one of the 6th graders came up to me and said you know, I have to ask because everyone at school is wondering about this. When are you due? I wasn't pregnant. I had gained a bit of weight due to BC and was self conscious about it. Normally would have shaken it off, but I got asked the same question later that day by a teacher. Cried when I got home that night. My science teacher in 8th grade used to have a running joke about how the lesson we were learning could be used to kill me. He brought in his antique axe collection to demonstrate levers, I think, and spent the whole class giving examples involved in chopping off my head. Another time, he had this huge tube, probably 6 feet tall, 1 foot in diameter. I don't remember why he had it in the room, but he would make cracks about filling it with water and throwing me in it, so everyone could watch me drown. Needless to say, that was a horrible year. Substitute teacher here. This did hurt a tiny bit, but it was more adorable slash funny. I'm one of those people that constantly has an angry face. My normal face just looks angry. It doesn't help that I don't smile much at all. People occasionally ask me about it or tell me to cheer up. I get used to it. So one day I get a music class job at a middle school, which is awesome. Turns out one music class that day is strictly for the special education kids, disabled. It was double taught by both music teachers, so I had another teacher to guide the class along singing their familiar tunes. The kids come in, and we have a grand old time singing John Kana Kanaka, and what have you. Apparently one of the kids catches onto my angry face, and says why don't you smile? I kinda smirk back, because he caught me off guard. He then says what's wrong with your smile? It looks weird. I don't know why, but that kinda hurt haha. I couldn't smile properly for the rest of class, like a Mona Lisa smile. As a teacher, I don't think there's anything a student could say that would hurt my feelings. But I've had lots of them try. You've just gotta come up with your best comeback and mutter it to yourself quietly after they comment. My dad says your beard is ugly. Did he say that? Because he can't grow one. Why are you so fat? Because I can afford to eat and feed my children 3 meals a day, unlike your welfare-ridden family. Your haircut is ugly you're cross-eyed and the grade 6 girls have frequent discussions about your lack of hygiene. In the 8th grade, our French teacher was having a bad day and the class bully asked her if her boyfriend broke up with her. She started to tear up and admitted to the class that her boyfriend left her that weekend. The bully responded with well no shit, look at you. She ran out of class crying. Immediately the class turned on him and made him apologize. When someone insults me, I always think they are only saying the things that they think will hurt me the most. It's not that they actually believe what they are saying, most of the time it's not even true. It's just what springs to mind when someone wants to hurt you. 
that's why calling girls fat and ugly is so popular, and calling guys fags and homos. It's not true. The person saying it probably doesn't believe it. It's just an easy, hurtful insult. We had a student teacher for a class, and our actual teacher was just awful at teaching. Everyone in her classes thought so and constantly talked about it. Well she seemed to think that the student teacher, who was actually teaching well, was awful. She wrote his university several times saying that he had zero people skills, etc. Just awful stuff. She told us this and gossiped about him. She got the university to fail him and he basically dropped out of school to pursue some missionary thing. This all happened so fast and seemed to come out of nowhere. She said he may have had some form of undiagnosed autism. It was horrible and she may have been the worst teacher ever. But the student teacher lost his career path and a few years of college due to our teacher's cruelty and misjudgment. I'm not a teacher, but this happened in my 5th grade class. Our teacher looking back was a great teacher who taught us a whole lot, but she has certain rules. We had to fold every piece of paper we turned in into half that had to be followed, leading to many students despising her. One day, she asks the class to write about either the best teacher or the worst teacher we've ever had, and asks us to present after we're done. One kid tells her to her face that she was terrible, mean, and wasn't fit to teach. She burst into tears and left the room. My mom has told me this story a couple times. It was when she was in about the 9th grade, the nicest and sweetest teacher at the school was about to give a lesson. Some of the bad kids told him that the principal wanted to talk to him, so he said thank you and left to get the principal's message. The boys then filled the trash can with water and put newspaper on it. Just in time, when the teacher got back, one of the boys set the newspaper on fire and it obviously burst into flames. The teacher immediately ran to the fire, using his foot to try and smother the fire. As he did so, his leg caught on fire, and then he splashed water all over himself and the class. Apparently he almost began to cry, and looked utterly mortified he then quit, and never came back to the school. In middle school our librarian was a total bitch. No one knew she was in recovery from cervical cancer. When she was being her bitchy self a female student asked her what are you on your period? And the librarian began to cry. Later that class she came to our room and explained what happened to her. We all felt really bad for her and the girl who asked that began to cry and asked for an apology. It was probably the only deep emotional memory I have associated with those two years. That summer she had a relapse and unfortunately passed away. The librarian who filled her shoes was nice, but I couldn't help but miss our bitchy cancer patient librarian. So I'm not a teacher, but I try to be respectful to all of my teachers. This one time on my bus, the bus driver went a different route. Now, the kids on my bus were what I like to call Neanderthals. They were literally some of the stupidest people I have ever seen. Anyway, we got a new kid that was special needs on our bus, so the driver went to his house first. When the kids saw that we changed routes, they all freaked out and started cursing and yelling. Our driver started to cry a bit, then she said something on the bus radio. We stopped, and some guy we had never seen got on, and he literally picked some of the kids up and threw them out onto the grass. I never laughed so hard in my life. The next day we, my friends and I, found the main antagonist. His name was Lewis. We shoved him around a bit and told him he was an ass. He told us that he and his chalice were going to jump us. As we walked out to leave school, our favorite teacher was behind us and saw Lewis and two little Mexican kids. I mean, they were tiny. Anyway, they walked up and my teacher said Lewis, you had better just walk away. Lewis says wow faggot, gotta have a teacher to protect you? At this point, my teacher said, have a good day, Terrantula Jambi. Then he let go of my backpack strap. Needless to say more, the kids were pretty respectful and quiet after that experience. On behalf of all of us students that are not giant doucher bags, sorry teachers. One of the teachers at my high school had just been married, but lost her husband on 9 over 11. He worked in the Twin Towers. This happened in like 2005, but one day, while reprimanding a student for using his cell phone in class he asked her do you think your husband burned in the towers, or do you think he jumped? She left crying, obviously. 
Just this week I took a large group of kids to a UIL event. They made one of the worst possible scores after 3 months of me busting my rear to prepare them. When I told them our score, they just said oh we suck. And went on their merry way. That's the kind of stuff that sent me into tears. My entire job is designed around this one particular event, and I put in countless hours of outside of school work to prepare these uncaring 12 year olds for it. It didn't even faze them that they did so bad. They don't care or try. They actively refuse to work. It's so frustrating when your success isn't measured in test scores or grades. It's measured in how your group of 12 year olds performed on one particular day. Maybe when I was earlier in my career, and was a bit softer but now, no, they're kids. They say dumb shit and oftentimes it's just to try to get to you, and push your buttons. If you let it hurt, you let them win. Game over.